What's up nerds, welcome back to another weekly progression video. This week I decided that I was gonna go back to the local skate park and just film whatever happens. I didn't have very many gold in mind, I just wanted to show up and honestly just wanted to see what happens. But unfortunately my toe had other plans for me. So as you guys know, my first few runs at the park are really just cruising around and I only ride this little section. The other section has a spine and stuff, um, but it's, I, I don't know, man, spines scare me. So I'm not sure what I want to try yet. I'm just going to kind of feel it out, come at the box jump, do a few things. And I think I wanted to bar spin here, but that just didn't happen. The first bar spin of the day is always rusty. Sometimes I throw it, sometimes I don't. And what got me thinking when I hit that box was, you know, I was really feeling a 360 to manual. I've done it a few times, but a 360 to manual on this box is particularly hard because typically you want to spin a full 360, but by the time, if you do it that way, by the time you land into a manual, you're going to be over rotating it. By the time you manual for a little bit, you're over rotating and you're going like all the way to the left. And so what I had to do on that last one was float it a little bit, but I gave it a lot of pedal pressure so it doesn't really count. I wanted to do it a little bit better with no pedal pressure and the way I had to do that was alley-oop it and float the 360. By doing it this way, it gave me a good hook into it, but I still over rotated. So this last time I made sure that everything was perfect, floated it, landed a little under rotated, landed in the perfect manual position. And I was pretty happy with that, it looked really clean. So you'd think that since you can three to manual, you can truck to manual, right? Well, that's what I thought, and that's what I wanted to try here. And it was easy enough to truck onto the box, but landing in a backward stance where you can actually manual was quite a bit harder than I thought. Throwing the bar spin, you know, mixes your body weight quite a bit. So where your body weight moves around while you're throwing the bar spin is very different than just like a stagnant 360. So I really struggled to get this bar spin 360 to manual because of the way the dis weight distribution worked. I went and grabbed my helmet because things were getting serious and I really wanted to land this trick even though I was struggling. Not even close. And right here, I think it finally, oh no, no, didn't work. I didn't even throw the bar and then I looped out. I had to think about it really hard, tell myself, okay, make sure. So you'll look, you'll notice on the next attempt, I'm going very far to the right on the camera of the box left if you're riding at it. And that's so that I can float a better alley-oop and I need to pop really high so I have enough time to throw the bar and adjust back into the manual. And by doing it that way, it worked. I gave it a lot of pedal pressure and you'll hear me call it disgusting. Or garbage. I like manual, it wasn't very good, really but I'm going to take it because I was getting frustrated. Now I wanted to play with airs on this quarter after riding with Johnny last week. Wow. Johnny did really good airing this quarter. He can just blast it and you know, I get you know, three, four feet, but it's nothing crazy. And then I also wanted to get better at that gap, but I was honestly feeling super sketchy. So I did a few airs on the quarter and then played with this gap. And this is what you don't want to see when you're coming off of a quarter. Look how far away I am from the coping. I pulled off way too hard and I almost died. I had nose dived in here and landed flat. It was pretty sketchy, scared me. And I decided I was about done doing that gap. So I tried some tucks on this quarter. It's a really steep quarter. I wouldn't take my hands off. Then we moved on to other things after this. If you see dog, comment dog in the comments. Last week I said I wanted to 540, but I didn't actually get to, so I gave it a few attempts. And then I think on attempt number three right here, I finally got it. Looks clean. Three sig or 540s are tricks that I've fought with a lot. Like I'd get them, then lose them, and then get them, lose them. So it feels good to have them pretty consistent. Maybe I can opposite five, never mind. This is Ryder. Ryder absolutely shreds. He's just killing this channel gap and then the box jump. This is a big box jump. If you've ever ridden it, you'd be very impressed. 
these kids are just absolutely crazy so i filmed them a little bit it's always fun to ride with them they, they're so good and it gets me hyped on riding he wanted to show me his drop in and then liam is going to show me this crazy gap that he did and try and show me the secret line to hit this gap and then i'm going to give it a few attempts it's pretty big step up but it looks fun and so here we go good old dugster bob's gonna try and keep up with the kids and it looks like i could have i would have cased it there the second one looks like i could have made it but bro i i went flying like <laughs> i didn't even jump on it i just went behind it so i landed completely flat from i don't know how high do you think that is maybe five six feet hurt my wrists man it hurt my wrists and here I actually went for it, but I, I got nose heavy and had to jump off. Here's what the session looks like. Everyone's out here having a good time. It was a good session and um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments what tricks you want to see me working on. I want to get foot jam to bar spin and foot jam tail whips pretty dialed. So maybe I'll work on those in the next video.